All right, in today's episode of Drawing with Brian, well, we're gonna use this book. I said before in another video, uh, I'm gonna start using some of the positions from this, my books to uh, show you guys how to draw some of these positions instead of trying to figure out some kind of position or search the internet for some position. It's better to have it right in front of you. So I just passed the one I'm gonna use. I was kind of like running through here and I said I'm going to use this position right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this position. And then I'm going to show you the same position, female, in the female. So you get a two for one today. So I'm pulled way back because this is 11 by 17 sheet. And I, I, I tried it on the smaller sheet and it didn't really work out because I want to turn this into more of a finished picture. And it didn't work out, so I'm going to use this 11 by 7, so I'm going to have to pull it up and down. It's going to be kind of small, but uh, stay with me. So, first thing is I want to clean these glasses. The second thing is I'm going to show you the pieces that you use first of all, so that you can at least get started, and then you'll come back with the muscles later, but at least you'll have everything the body right. So, getting my sample sheet of paper. I'm so shocked that the camera didn't blur. There are shapes that you want to use because, as I said, the body is a puzzle. It's just taking the pieces of the puzzle and put them, putting them together. So you want to use the oval. You want it more round, more like an egg shape. More wider at the top, at the bottom. That's your one. Come down, two. And that's just this piece right here like this. That's going to be your waist, your upside down house. And you don't want it too far. You don't want a long waist, and then you have this part here, because that'll make them a little too long. These are three pieces. Uh, let's do a center line. So we have your, and that's just a cross right there. That's all it is, just a cross. It goes across the body. So you have your circle here, circle here. Uh, um, what is this? Uh, cylinder. Thank you. My man, my mind just kind of like ran away so I'm going to go ahead and do the regular cylinder for you guys cylinder and it's going to basically be straight down so it's going to be like that fatter here narrower there circle here for your knee and your cylinder again fatter here narrower there so and you're going to have the cylinder and I've noticed I flattened these off so I'm going to round this one off round here so this is going to be your opening right there your knee and then your other cylinder, so you're going to have your opening right here, and you may see, let's just say, just your opening right here, and then your, your foot right there. So this foot is going to be bent up. It's going to be bent. Let me show you the, the actual picture again, so that you can see what I'm doing, and stay with me. It is right. Where did it go? Right there. So he's going to have that foot bent, that knee bent, and the leg come down, arms go up. Like that. You see that? You see that? Okay, so. Cylinder here. Cylinder here. And when you do this, you're going to have to have it uniform. You can't have one arm here and the other arm way out here. You're going to have to kind of have everything even. Both elbows, both fists. Um, well, this is the one knee is going to be higher than that one. That's going to be lower. So let's just say your circle for your elbow, and then you would bring these in just a little bit. Cylinder again, and this is the same thing as this. This is just wide, thicker, and that's thicker than your arm. Same thing here. So these are your basic shapes you're gonna use, and then you're gonna put your fist in, and put your fist in, and of course you already know about the, the head, over for the head, and the neck comes down. Now. Let me put a foot here. Now, that's your basic shape. Once you start connecting the open pieces, then you're good to go. But uh, there are a little changes that you have to do. But if you have this first, you're on a good start. And I'll show you about this shoulder in a minute. So let's get started with the, uh, the actual drawing. And I'm thinking I want to switch over to blue pencil. Hopefully you can see that a little clearer than the red because people have been saying the red is too light. So let's try that. 
All right, first of all, I'm gonna get my space that I, I want my, my character because I'm gonna put a cape on him. He's gonna be like coming down, like flying down into some rubble, fire and smoke, coming down to save somebody. So you get your torso, torso first. You get your torso and that will kind of determine, wow, can you even see that? That will determine where the rest of the body is. Let me see if I, if I go to a pencil. Would I be able to see with my new light above H4? Will you be able to see? So remember, you want it more rounder at the top, more wider at the top. Don't have that too long, too far. I guess you can see that. I hope you can see that. Let me go a little darker. Center line. Um, the cross, the T-cross, and then the mountain. Right there represents the stomach. Go down with the waist because this is your obliques. You're going to come around, so just down just a little bit. And that's that, what I call the tuna can. And then down just a little bit more for your house, upside down. So the obliques are here. When when this comes around, this hits right up to the side of it. And this is your, your love handles. And it also brings in that stomach. It, it causes that stomach to curve in. So like that. And it basically that goes down into the crotch. Lower right here goes down into the crotch, and these are your your legs come up into here, and this part here uh, would be your buttocks. But we always draw that as one piece. So I'm looking at that, I'm making sure it's not too too long. I put my chest there, my stomach there. All right, let's let's go with that. So I'm gonna put my chest just above this. I'm gonna curve it down a little bit and I'm going to take it up but the one thing when you put your arms up so let's do this let's get the neck this little extra this extra piece here this is am I focused hopefully this is V this is going to be my neck and I'm going to put my head there here but I'm going to also tuck my head down a little more and I'm looking at it because I wanted should have dropped it down a little bit more but we'll work with that. It's probably just right because the cape will probably come here. So it's probably just right. So now when you lift your arms up, let me use this. Your collarbone goes up as well. So because your delts, your delts are right here and they come off the end of your collarbone. So I'll do that again. This is your, this is, this is this, this is your uh, when I name stuff, it just over and over, it just slips by. Torso, collarbone. Collarbone is like this, and then it right on the end of that delt, and then there's your arm. The other half of your arm. Now, when you lift up your arm, this collarbone also goes up too. So it's always going to be on the end of that. So the higher you lift that, your arm, the more this collarbone is going to go up, and this delt is going to be on the end of that and your arm is going to be on the top of this ball like so so when you have your arms up your collarbones cannot collarbone cannot be like that it has to go up with that and then that scrunches up your shoulder what's left of your shoulder it scrunches it up around your neck so the the higher like i can say the higher your arm goes up the more that collarbone goes up the more your neck gets scrunched up and then your arm so with that out the way let's roll so I want to have and I'm just gonna rough where I want my arms my arms are gonna come up like this probably like right about there remember you, you kind of have to have it uniform one elbow can't be higher than the other, or one can't be longer than the other. And then when you, when you draw flat, 
or when you're not drawing with your paper up like that, you tend to make things longer. So every now and then you have to pick your paper up and look at it and make sure stuff is not too long. Like I can actually bring this up a little bit more or make the head bigger to fit, fit that torso. I'm gonna look at this again because I don't want to go too far and it's too long. Even though you are doing like superheroes, so that you want them to be tall, you know, you don't necessarily have to go with the eight heads. You know, if you, yeah, you don't, you don't have to do that every time you you draw a picture. You know, you don't really want to do that every time you draw a picture. So that's going to be. I'm going to have the arms right about like that. So of course, as I said, that collarbone has got to go up. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have that a delt. Collarbone is going to go up to this point here, to the point of the circle. Marker. Here's your circle right here. So your collarbone is going to go up to that point. And after that, then your delts start. Remember that's round. But the way it's going to be is your arm is going to come inside it like that. Your arm is going to cut like that. So again, on this side, you're going to have your collarbone stop and then you're going to have the delt. You know, if you drew the whole circle, it'd be like that, but your arm is going to cut across that. So you're just going to see this half and on the other side of your arm, you're going to see the other half of that circle. So if it's like this, so you're seeing this and then this. What am I using? my pencil okay so it's going to be like that and i'm going to bring it in i'm going to bring it down and remember that it goes around pretty much like this and then your arm is going to come up from under there so bring this in and it scrunches up that neck so i'm gonna do my bicep i don't want it to be too too long that 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 will definitely get you so you have this now one thing about the chest when you have this this is always connected to the chest this part is connected to the chest so you don't have your chest your arm is not going to be out i'll do this in pencil your arm's not going to be out and your chest is not going to come around like this one is here to come up like this. It'll be more squared off. This one won't be square and then come way out like that. This is going to be scrunched up. Like if you put, if my hands were the chest and I, I um, put my arms up, they'll scrunch up like that. The chest will kind of compress and compact together like that. So let me do this one. You'll see. What if I just drop something that I probably need, like my pencil? No, oh, that's my red pencil. So what it's going to do is going to come straight down like that. It's going to come down like that, and it's going to scrunches up the chest like that, whereas this just goes across like that, this, like that. So once you do that, once this comes around, you have this, your delt comes down. And into the chest so you're gonna have all this extra space here and that'll show your ribs there so but your chest scrunches up like that so no more of this only if that chest and I said do this if that one goes stays down Just think of like a, a shoulder pad for a football. And then you have that part of the arm, that part of the arm. <clears throat> and this one goes up and it stops right at that circle. And then you have your delt, which is this. And it's going to come down. So you notice one side is longer, one side is shorter. And that's just how it is when you put your arms up. And then coming from under here is going to be your arm. Goes up under here. And then the other half. So that's a quick chest tutorial. So let's see. And then we'll put the other side of the arm, the other part of the arm.
here. Not making it too long. So we're going to have this, and I'll, I'll do a little bit more with that circle. It's going to come down. We have this little part of the lat right there coming up from under here, and that goes into the delt. And already that's looking a little long. All right, so we'll work on that angle of the arm. And this is gonna come up and around from the, the side, gonna come up and around to where if you have the nipples, you do a, 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 a triangle, and it's going to be like right there at that triangle. So you want to bring these up, and it's going to be a fang. It's like that, that like a fang, tiger fang, like that. And then your ribs are going to go in there. I'm going to give him that, that vacuum, that stomach that kind of sucks in. And that's going to fit on that. <clears throat> it's going to go in, and I might bring that waist in a little bit more. It's obliques, this goes down into here. And I'm going to drop that head later. Let's do this leg. This is the center, and it's got to got to get it back in the center. Let me make sure this is not too long or too short. I could give another half an inch to the arms. So if I took this up just a little bit more, took that one up just a little bit more, because I'm drawing flat. It's like drawing a line when you're when you're drawing at an angle like that. You really don't know how long that line is when you're drawing on an angle. Same thing. So that's why when artists paint, the easels are like up like that, so they can see just how long something is. Just a little bit more, go up just a little bit more. And this is just a rough before I actually do details. And I'm trying to get everything right. And out because this arm needs to go out more. Just 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 to be perfect-ish. There's the hands, and I'm going to brush this because I say I want to do a female, but some of it I think I will just um, fast motion to save time. Especially when it comes to doing detail, if you've got the basic rough right, then you you got it so let me get all this stuff out of the way now let's try to go for the legs straight down this one's going to be that cylinder it's going to be straight making sure it's not too short too long 
my knee is going to be here. It's going to come straight. This is a little long. Knees up a little bit more. And then calf. Not too long, not too short. Drop this down a little bit more. And then add the foot. Straight down and out, and then kind of come into that little point. But this one is straight. This one comes out and a little point for those. I could have moved it in a little bit more. For those that are having trouble drawing feet, this, this comes around and then it goes, this little shin bone comes curves around and it comes right out at the ankle right here. So then you want to go straight down, out. This one's going to come out a little bit more. And some people square it off. You can square it off. It doesn't have to be a triangle and I'm going to get all that in correct proportion so this one is going to come down it's going to it actually lift it up a little bit that's why you see this this is the knee goes here and then you're going to see that calf Here and if you want to see some of this, and you just put a little bit of or a small cylinder right there, and then the foot straight down and out. And one thing I think I want to do is I want to actually angle that foot in, maybe a little bit, that leg in a little bit. Looking at it in the monitor. And why not? Just, just just angle it in a little. Knee. And that's going to go outside of that knee and comes in. This one's going to be longer. This one just comes in and go comes out and goes in. Longer. And then the foot. Straight. It comes out and back in. And that just gives him more of a, a line, line to it. I could bring this leg in closer, but I'm going to leave it at that. I'll make it for the, the female to come in close. Just lining it up. Those arms still could be a little longer. I don't want him to look like a monkey, but I don't want him to look like his arms are too short to box with God. I will draw sideways so my lines are always crooked. Let's fix that right now. By using a triangle. Line it up with the edge of your paper. Find the line you want, straight across. Line it up with the paper. Find the line that you want. Straight across. So this is gonna be my wrist and my fist is gonna come out here. Why does that seem that fist is still too, too small? Fix it in the wash, I'll fix it in the wash. All right, let's fix down in this rib here. All right, let's fix this, some of this. Now, you got that chest is gonna come down and I think this blue is gonna write on this pencil. So let's switch to red. And give him a little more muscle. So I'm gonna pop that out a little bit more. And then Come down here and down like we have it. In this arm is going to go up. You can muscularize this arm a little bit more, but bringing it out 
and then give him some more um, tricep. Comes into the elbow right there. So this arm is going to be, how does that, it comes out like this, if I'm not mistaken. The other one is like this. And you can see part of that, which it goes the other way. This. Goes up to the elbow. You're going to get your bicep here. And then that muscle that comes between the two, which goes down and around. So what we're gonna have you have your right here, you have your like this your underarms, a little dip right here. And then can have a little more um, lat come comes out and in. Remember this comes up and around into the to your ribs. So I can think five really show four or five shows. Pretty bad. One, two, three, I think four. And they come point out like that. And then from there, if you choose to do the, I can never think of those words that, that, that. Same thing here, you get your hand shape, you have one, your, your top finger. When you see your fingers, you're only gonna see these three, this one, this one, and this one, unless you do something strange with the, the, the this one. This one tucks behind and you see the three. You see how this one comes out, this one goes in, this one goes in more. So it's gonna out, in, and then in more, and it curves in, into that palm, and then you see the other part of the palm. So you see this small part of the palm, you see the other part of the palm, and of course you're gonna see the thumb come over the top, like that. And I'll, I'll fix that in a wash. Give him a fatter wrist. Fix it in the wash. So with this, we're going to give him that, that vacuum look. When you when you lift your arms up, you're gonna, and, and kind of say like, take, take that deep breath. This is gonna suck in more. And I see that he's crooked, so let's do this and fix. And it would be a shame if I put a uniform on them and just cover all that stuff up. It's going to be an hour video. I'm trying to get away from hour videos. But there's a lot to explain. There's a lot to explain. So it comes down and you have, again, you have that underarm, which is lower than the other one, higher than the other one. I'm going to bring this guy's head down more into his chest, his neck, because he's going to be looking down because he's actually flying down. So the chin is going to be down here, center that line so his face won't be too crooked. Put 
his eyes like right here, like he's looking down to see what he's gonna land on. So that nose is gonna be here, and that mouth is gonna be about right here. And then just a little bit more chin. Ears are gonna be up. And then there you have it. So for the most part, I'm going to leave it at this and I'm going to work on the female and then I'll just ink both of these in fast motion. As I said, I don't I tend not to use these. What is that called? Serratus, serratus, serratus muscles. And this is going to be basically all in shadow because he's going to suck that in. And then you have your shadow on your other sides and in your center. And I will dress him in a costume, but it's going to be a tight costume. What did I say about costume? Uniform. A costume is something you put on when you go out to pretend. A uniform is something you put on when you go out to work. You join the military, they don't put on costumes. The police don't put on costumes. Just opening that chest, and as I said, that chest will come out like this. So let me work on the female, because as I said, I want to put a cape on this guy, and the cape is going to come up to probably about right there. Because he's coming down into some rubble, like I said, with fire. But that's 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 the finished piece. So let's work on the female. pencil. Now for the female, I want to get, I want to get the torso about right here to about right here. Give her long legs, of course. And the same thing, center line. Now if I'm doing a female from the front, I'm just going to use my double triangle. Maybe not that wide, definitely not that wide. A double triangle, keeping it on the same line, unless you just want really wide hips, and you can. So what I'm left with is this, and that is definitely too long right off the bat. So if I want her to be about right there redo that triangle now so the same thing let's just do let's get let's get her head because usually when I do females I want to get the head right so I can Make sure the shoulder, the shoulder proportions, right. Same thing, collarbone. Now I will cut this and this. This is this is like where the where the, the breasts are gonna go. So if you put another triangle here and turn it into the upside down heart, center line. Then of course her collarbone is gonna go up. And again, where do I want to put my arms? This is being rough, roughing it. Somewhere about like that. And that also depends on how big do you want the breasts. I don't really want the big, the big breasts on this particular female. So again, 
The only thing about that is you're not going to really put that many um, mus muscle lines for female. And then the arms are not going to be as thick. The breasts are going to come. They're still, it's the same thing. It's going to come down, but because the breasts are more, how would I say, just take a two balloons full of water. No matter how you pick that balloon up, it's still going to, if you have a balloon full of water and you pick it up, it's still going to, all the water is going to be down here and it's still going to bulge out from every angle. So no matter how you pick it up, it's going to still have that brown bottom. Same thing. This is going to round out here. And the arms are going to have that underneath the arm right there. So this line here we had, it's going to come in and let's just say this is going to be her crotch right here. What did I have? I had that one. I'm going to have her leg bent up more, but let's work with the shape. So we have this smaller arm. It's going to be more smoother. Down into that collarbone. That's going to come down like this to that. And I'm going to make that one piece so that just doesn't look like completely nude. A little bit here, a little bit there behind the um, breast. You can bring this out to this point coming down where this second line touches, where this blue line is going to touch. So if this was your bottom triangle, it goes all the way here. Where this comes to touch your bottom triangle, then you go back out. Now you can make it really extremely slim or thicker, or you want to do the anime kind of body or the, the thick athletic kind of body, the Wonder Woman type. So I said my crutch is about right there, maybe lift it up a little bit. And all these points, you want to round them off. So if it's this, and then you have this, you have that little bump right there. So from, from the hips, you can say, that's too much, that's not enough. Bring it in if you don't want it that wide. It's on you, your female body type, whatever type you want to do. Now I did lift it up from that, so... I'm going to kind of keep somewhere around here. I'm going to bring her leg in more, more than I did the guys. So I'm doing my oval or cylinder, but that's more of an oval. My knee, I'm gonna curve it, give her more of a curve, like this curve and this curve. Making sure that's not too long. It's close to being long. This to me is almost long. So I bring her up a little bit more. Let's do that before I go too far. I don't want it too far down. And that's the thing again, if you're drawing on a flat surface. This is not flat, but I could tilt it up more. But if I do, everything will roll off. So let's say about right here. Give her just a little more waist. Okay, I think that might be a little better. I'm drawing with my red pencil, which I shouldn't be doing. It's hard to erase. too long. Some nights you can just kick them out, other nights, well now I'm going to say night, 
some drawing sessions you can kick them out other drawing sessions you just have to work for it and nobody knows why why it, it, it's like that it's like uh, writers and musicians sometimes you can just kick out a song or get the, on that typewriter and start typing typewriter there are no more typewriters and other days it's just like incredible it's just hard to do so with this leg I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna bring her leg instead of having it down like the guys are going to have it almost all the way up so in doing something like that if you have this cylinder right here you had a cylinder right here the same way I lifted this up here you want to lift this all the way up so it's going to be like this and it's front circle this is the back circle this is the front circle right here and his leg is lifted up and this is the knee and this is the other half this is his calf calf yeah and then that so it's just basically just a circle back circle front circle and then that's that's just imagine a cone one of those street cone traffic cones and you're looking down at it that's the secret to foreshortening arms and legs so it's gonna be more like this Brian draw the leg what's wrong with you so my front circle is gonna be here and you, what, you, what you're going to see, you're just going to see the foot back here. Straight down, out, and then the toe. So this knee is going to be bent up more than the guy's. So what I want to do is I want to kind of make this whole, whole thing one, one piece. Somewhat one piece. It's going to be kind of flat right there. No, it's not going to be somewhat one piece. This is going to stick out more than that. <clears throat> and he is, her knee is going to be here, not my knee. Her knee is going to be right here. And then you won't see the bottom part, just the foot. Got to have space right here. Just have to have it because it that it's like this it comes up that's how the leg hooks that so making sure i have that space in between and i'm gonna bring that in more bring that out just some more and then curve it in Small knee, a little space between there. Keep it round and probably end it right there. I'm gonna make that even smaller. You get so used to drawing men that naturally your females start to look more like men as well. So I will kind of keep this one round and I will bring this in a little more. her foot in uh, ankle inside ankle is higher than the outside ankle sometimes I'll put a little loop right there and then that one and then I will bring this foot in instead of down I'll turn that foot in a little bit more because women not all women walk like that some women have the duck walk but it's just better to turn it in. It just looks better when it's turned in just a little bit. So 
So arms, I'll slim these arms down a little bit more. Bring that in. The female stomach goes out like that and then back in. It's more pronounced out here. In here anyway, for if you want to do the female abs. Slim that arm down. Stop using your red. One is looks like it's up, but for the sake for the sake of time. I am going to open her hands up though. Because the guy's hands was the guy's hands his hands were open, her his hands were closed, her hands gonna be open. There's a thumb is on the inside. So you have that palm again, you have that other side of the palm, and you have the finger. So you have that one side of the palm, the other side of the palm, which is your thumb is gonna be on that side. This goes up to that baby finger. I have to check my hands once I get them in there because it might be kind of big. And then you put your other fingers in accordingly, depending on how you want your hand. So, palm, there's my thing. Palm, palm. This one is going to be your thumb. This one's the baby finger. And then, as I said, you put your other fingers in accordingly. However you want them to be, yeah, probably curve them in or something like that. Curve, curve in. Here's my thumb. Take this one and maybe curve it in, and the other ones come out or something. I don't know. Make it more loose instead of being so tight. So as I say, I'll, I'll work with that uh, once I get ready to ink. For the sake of time, I'll put a bend in there anyway. And then they're basically going to be behind, everyone's going to be behind this first one. I know one is higher than the other, but as I said, I work with that as I, as I ink it. Not too shabby, bring that head down because she is looking down as well. Do not use your pen. You will be mad. I'm going to give a point to the chin, anime style. Make her head accordingly bigger to the size that I need for the body. And then the face is going to look down. The eyes are going to be looking down. Let's put the nose here. What's the mouth there? Skinny neck. Slim neck, which gives room for the shoulders. I get. I don't know if she's gonna have a cape or not. I just know that he was gonna have a cape. She she was not even a thought in the beginning, but then I decided to do the female and the male. And but he, he in my head he always had a cape. She, on the other hand, was non-existent until I started drawing. My God, that's long. That's long. One thing I say, turn away from your picture. Turn away from your picture. I was staring down and I happened to look up and I saw that it was really long. Before you ink something, walk away from your picture. This can be shortened too. And then come back and you should instantly see your mistakes. So once I get this proportions right, I'm going to fast motion this. So hopefully it won't be any longer than an hour. I didn't want an hour, but good teaching takes time. I'm going to drop this shoulder down again.
It's not kind of quiet. It's not as relaxed as I would like it to be. My God, this is so small. I've got all this space out here. So it's zoomed in. I'll zoom in when I ink it. And I'll also work on those hands. So at this point, I'm kind of happy with it. Open that up. And then I will fast forward, fast ink, fast motion ink this. And stop it if I need to say something that is screwed up or however. So the rest of this is going to be fast motion, even the background, and then we'll go from there as soon as I erase this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away from this, come back and look at it and check my proportions for him and her. He is kind of long. My gosh, she's small. But I mean, if you size him up, that's basically what she would look like next to a big superhero guy and then come back and ink them so i'm gonna walk away for me it's gonna be a second for me it's gonna be a couple minutes for you it's gonna be a second and i'm gonna zoom in and uh, get this thing figured out sitting here looking through my book my superhero coloring book trying to figure out a good costume for the female but I realize I don't have any females with capes so I'm just going to do one I really want a cape but this character has long hair so I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this character and this flowing uh, uh, part right here and without making it seem like her hair is falling off her head so we'll go with that one. Oh, again fast motion
So here you have the finished product. Now I could have kept going and potentially messed it up or potentially made it better, but there's always a point <clears throat> that I say to myself, that's enough. You know, you, you should say that too. I mean, if you feel confident to keep going, keep going. But if you mess up something, don't say, oh my God, you know, get mad at it. You know, there, there should be a, a little voice in you that says, okay, that, that's, that's enough, that's enough. Because I'm gonna come back and color this one day. So I don't, I don't wanna say I don't have to put that much detail into it. I just choose not to put that much detail into it because shading and just adding hatch lines and so forth and so on, I'm not that really confident uh, to do that to create you know this this wonderful masterpiece that I you know because I see some professionals that that do great art and then they put all these lines in and so forth and to me I'm like okay you you just messed that up you had it you know it was like right there so but you know that's me you know I guess if you ask them I guess they might say some of the sometimes the same thing so I'm still playing with it which means I could potentially mess it up again so where's the female so these are the two characters, same position. This is what they would be like if, you know, you drew a male and a female. And I think I'm going to start doing that more, drawing the male and the female. And she's in ice. She's coming down in like this ice, which is cold, which you would have like the, you know, the coldness coming around. That could be her fortress of solitude. It could be, you know, somebody, you know, just trapped within the, the crystals. So... Yeah, truth be told, I started this last year, maybe November, <laughs> and here it is, 2021. So it just I have a lot of stuff on my plate, and I'll have ideas to do other things. And um, because initially I wasn't going to draw her, I was just going to do him. But I said it'd be good to do a female and a male together. Next time I'll do them on the same page, that it won't won't be so 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 much. And as you see, I pulled out my new eraser because my other one was pretty much dead. So, yeah. And I'm going to color her too one day. I'm starting to do weekend colorings. Just, you know, something just, you know, really easy and quick. And then just give you a little information on, you know, things that, that I know. I'm, you know, I'm not, I haven't been in the publishing comic books for 20 or 30 years like, you know, some of these big time guys. But. Well, a little bit I know I'm willing to share because they're not really sharing too much with you. So that's going to be it for this video. Straighten my pictures up because this is going to probably be my screenshot or whatever you call that thing. Minus this junk here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Comment if you choose to. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. My camera's crooked, so my pictures are crooked. So, yeah, I'm out. I'm going to ramble. I'm out.